Hi there. Uh, I've been using the RSP Duo for about a month now and I thought I'd do a quick video uh, as an update on my experiences with it so far. Um, and as I'm in the beautiful city of Nantes in France, traveling with it, um, which I think is one of its biggest bonuses, uh, it seems an appropriate time to give uh, everyone an update. Um, I was fortunate enough to be asked to write a review on the RSP1A uh, after having been supplied a unit to do some testing. Uh, I wrote the review for a radio user, um, found it to be a superbly performing SDR for such modest money. I mean, you know, I said it before, you know, 95% of the performance of an ELAD for about 10% of the price. Uh, and the RSP Duo takes that one step further uh, because being a dual tuner with four antenna inputs you're effectively getting two receivers uh, for the price of one um, and yeah you can well I don't need to reel through the specifications you know you can basically attach two antennas and listen on long wave on one and something on UHF up to two gigahertz on the other um, you know and in terms of sen selectivity, sensitivity, etc., etc., it's demonstrated itself to be the equal of the RSP1A. Uh, I've already copied several transatlantic signals from North America out of season, which in itself is, you know, is a sign of a, a of an excellent receiver. Okay, it's been attached to some very nice antennas, but ultimately, the RSP duo has proven itself. Um, Travelling with it. Is a bit of a breeze um, but a few sort of tips and stuff uh, obviously you want to power this uh, receiver from a computer I use laptops uh, and it's really important to um, to use a laptop I think with a solid-state drive mechanical hard drives generate um, usually generate quite a bit more noise that's my experience um, this is basically a Lenovo uh, ultrabook with a solid state hard disk and um, generates very little noise itself. Um, I can run this computer from the mains whilst using the uh, RSP Duo and it, there's no effect on the noise floor. Um, the other thing is that you want a computer with a decent processor because what I've found is that when, you, when you're using both channels and then you record, you want, you want to record uh, what you're receiving in terms of like a video screenshot if you've got a laptop with a with a slightly lower specification um, I'm you know this has got 8 meg of RAM and I uh, and, a, and a core i7 any less than that and you're gonna struggle um, and when your computer is struggling um, the audio is gonna keep dropping in and dropping out so 8 megabytes of RAM minimum core i7 and you're basically good to go uh, and that's the spec on on this machine and that way you can um, you can be tuned into two signals simultaneously both running you can switch between them uh, mute mute etc um, and the uh, uh, and the computer uh, isn't going to have any effect or in terms in terms of the computer resources uh, will have no effect in terms of the audio dropping in and out uh, and it, this is the beautiful thing um, about the RSP Duo. Um, I think I mentioned before that for me personally, it's just as important and interesting to be able to compare the same signal with two antennas as it is to be able to tune into two signals simultaneously. Um, and that's basically what I'm doing here. Uh, now, I'm, I'm at a conference in Nantes and um, uh, I've brought quite a lot of equipment with me, more than I normally would, but because I drove here from the UK via the Eurostar, um, I packed everything in a flight case, which actually is here. So this is the flight case that everything came in, including the antennas. It's, it's a bit of a mess now because I've dragged a lot of stuff out of it, but um, it's not a particularly large flight case. Um, but I basically threw that in the back of the truck um, and brought the RSP Duo and uh, a couple of antennas. So um, I have the uh, Benito Mega Loop and the Benito Mega Dipole antennas. Uh, 
it's not exactly what I would call an optimised installation because although I'm fortunate enough to have an outside area uh, on the fifth floor, basically the top of this hotel, uh, there isn't really enough space to support them properly. Um, but getting them outside of the room helps. Uh, and so while I've been here, I've been basically comparing signal to noise on both of these antennas. And what's interesting is that they're very, very similar. Um, I've also been using those antennas with a couple of portables, uh, more so with my trusted Sony ICF SW 7600G, the old faithful, um, which with coupled to what either of these antennas is delivering signals into this hotel which you simply wouldn't be able to hear otherwise. Uh, I also bought my Eaton satellite, um, but I haven't really used that very much. I'm kind of that receiver has already featured prominently on my uh, channel so I thought while I'm here I'll stick with the Sony but getting back to the uh, RSP Duo um, yeah even with some uh, sort of fairly top-notch antennas at least in terms of antennas that you can travel with uh, it's a breeze because effectively you've got a laptop that powers the receiver um, I've got two USB power bricks that I bought with me to uh, power uh, the power inserters for both of the Benito antennas. I also brought my homebrew battery pack as a kind of backup um, and, it, and I can just leave all this stuff to charge in the room uh, while I'm out during the day and then come back again and uh, I'm good to go. So um, yeah, overall the uh, RSP Duo has, has proven to be a superb receiver, uh, effectively two receivers. Uh, and therefore is equally modestly priced as the RSP1A um, and it's just so easy to travel with so that receiver coupled with you know Benito's uh, NTL NTI portable antennas uh, you can pack all that stuff um, into a really small space um, you know so it's been incredible uh, I mean the fifth floor of a hotel isn't exactly an optimized location for DXing um, but in terms of testing particularly the mega loop I thought you know it was worth a shot uh, having said that I've been surprised that the mega dipole which has huge gain uh, is, is performing as well as the loop um, and both are performing well with the uh, RSP duo so that's it so <laughs> this room I've got has got the world's smallest desk I mean this is a, quite a small laptop and you can see that there isn't much space so I've got the receiver behind the computer and then the power to the left and then um, coaxial cables running out the uh, door um, so there you go um, if you're looking for an SDR to travel with um, and you want uh, a lot of bandwidth effectively you're interested in you know anything from long way through to UHF uh, yeah I, uh, I, you know and you want to listen to signals more than one signal simultaneously I can't recommend the uh, RSP duo enough really um, yeah it's been superb so uh, my experiences with it are all positive um, and I'm, I'm in nonce for another couple of days so I'm going to continue to uh, have a tune around with it see what I can hear uh, the, the software SDR Uno is an updated version that allows you to run the RSP duo um, you really need a computer or a computer with a large screen you need a lot of real estate there's a lot going on here um, I've had to kind of compromise a little bit but um, so as that I can effectively access what I need to access um, but I can't uh, I, I, I just don't have enough room uh, to view uh, all of the all of the all of the windows basically so um, you know I'm just I, I, I've basically sized everything so as I can see what I need to see and then if I want to adjust the audio uh, filter bandwidth um, then I have to do that and then basically close it down but it's fine you know um, I can live with that while I'm traveling um, so there you go um, that's my short update um, for those of you interested in getting an SDR um, and particularly those interested in an SDR that you can travel with that can be powered via USB. Um, yeah, the SDR Duo, um, the RSP Duo. You know, it's it's superb. Uh, as the RSP One A was superb, but as I said, for the money, with the RSP Duo, you get two receivers for the price of one. Um, uh, I'm having a great time testing it and uh, 
DXing with it. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>